Hi, I'm Elizabeth Scott here to bring you up to date with what's going on in the world of showbiz this week. Well, here I am at the world premiere of The Boat That Rocked. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Scott and these are the latest headlines on Sky News. Sky News, Elizabeth, how are you doing? Oh, wow. that was... <laughs> yeah, I'm freezing. I think it's quite an accurate description of um, the trail of the I don't know really. The 60s was like any other time. There were good bits and bad bits. This is an accurate portrayal of that bit. And uh, I it certainly looks like the 60s. This of the week has to be Victoria Beckham yes. with her latest crop. Yes. What do you think? I love it actually. I think she's a very brave person. We're so used to seeing her with the pop, you know, yeah. dub the pop, and um, those huge sunglasses she always wears. I think it was a very clever PR boy as well. Yeah. She had it at the launch of her debut fashion collection. So all eyes were on her, really. Not only did she have the fashion collection, she had the hair to go with it. Lily Allen is backing a campaign to try and close down these illegal websites. Yeah, she'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you don't agree, no? Uh, that's great. I mean, yes, yes. It's true, there are a lot of people who, who put a lot of you know, efforts into music and, and they want to be rewarded. Sometimes I guess the people in the industry panic, but I like what's going on. British director Michael Winterbottom has been defending his latest movie, The Killer Inside Me, and its explicit violence against women. The film adaptation of Jim Thompson's novel about a psychotic killer has split the critics, with some branding it misogynistic. Sky's Steve Hargrave has been speaking to the director. Surely you don't remember too much about those days? You're very, very kind to say that, but of course I remember a little of those days. I was born in 1960. Gerald Butler is hot property in Hollywood at the moment, but it seems the Scottish actor's luck with the ladies in real life isn't as sizzling, despite those Jennifer Aniston rumours. If I was any good at this, I would be married or in a, in a serious relationship. I'm single. You like to do your own album. Have you ever thought about Broadway? Obviously, you've done that Yeah, Broadway. Me, yeah. Always. I, I mean, of course. I would love to do a musical. Jesus. Um, but I, I'm very, music is a big part of my life. In any way I can, I will be involved in it. Let's forget the likes of Pele or Ronaldinho. Brazil has a new footballing sensation, and he's already in training to perform in the 2014 World Cup final. Well, it's all about sex in the city this week. One word of advice, though, if you're even considering going with your boyfriend, don't bother. This is one for the girls, and the last thing you want is a moaning man next to you. Are we going to see you back on stage at any point? Have you got any plans to...? Yeah, I'm in talks about doing a musical. We were talking about doing it this year, but I don't think I'd be able to do it, so next year. And if you're willing to trust a wrinkly rocker's opinion, it looks like one worth watching again and again. Um, I'm coming to see this wonderful movie, which I've already seen, actually. It's fantastic. I love it. Elizabeth Scott, Sky News.